All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kadash, the blindness to the apostles, the blindness to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, bracket thumbs to the whole full act. Shalom, Shalom. You know, today, you know, on location lesson, you know, no real title in mind, but want to go into the theme of uh, being, being hated, being hated of the world. And persecution because these are these are things that um, you can't avoid in the truth you can't avoid being looked down upon and especially you know in the time of Jacob's trouble you know you can't avoid that persecution coming man and these these are things that will be uh, you know we will be uh, tested in you know that's why we tell brothers to you know abandon the world Abandon any attachments to the world Any love towards the world you may have You want to abandon that Because if you hold on to that That could be a detriment to your walk That could lead that could lead to your destruction You know I was telling the brother yesterday It's like We don't we don't need acceptance from, from anybody You know whether it's a fucking nigga Whether it's a Edomite Two third You know a heathen We don't need acceptance from these people You know as long as we're doing the right things When it when it comes to the spirit and power of your house, Bashim Yashai, that's what's most important always, man. That's always what's most important. And so, you know, you're going to be in, in uh, situations that you just straight up feel uncomfortable in. You know, because cause out here in Kansas City, you know, like on the weekend, you kind of you got you got like a Jake spot, which, you know, is going to be pretty much all Jake's. You got a mixed spot. You're going to get a little bit of uh, you can get a little bit of uh, Jake and Esau. And then you got the Edomite spots <laughs> where, I mean, you could, you know, you, you could be a Jake in there, but, you know, you, you, you really feel out of place. And, uh, you know, we, we, we took some brothers with us last night and we went to an Edomite spot and brothers kind of noticed that it was a very uh, standoffish atmosphere. You know, not not to say that, you know, people was being racist because, you know, you know, end of the day, we still Jake. Pe people going to fuck with us, you know. People, people like to have Israelites around, but you know, when you when you in the Edomite spot, you know, you you you're not you're not gonna feel that comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna gonna look at you like 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 you were the oddball. Everybody's gonna look at you like you don't belong and you know, for whatever reason. I mean we all know the reason. There there's a a spirit of division between the Israelites and the uh and, and the and the Edomites, you know. But you know, compared to like to like a mixed spot, you know, we'll we'll have we'll have all the bitches going. <laughs> or you know, if, if it was some white girls at a fucking Jake spot, yeah, they they would be going. So, you know, that 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 is just an example on how this world is gonna turn against us, man. You know, eventually it's just gonna be everyday life is gonna is gonna have it out for you. Everyday life is gonna um become uncomfortable. You're not gonna get that welcoming, welcoming spirit from the world, man. And you have to expect that. So, you know, it's important, as the apostles always say, it's important to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, man. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Like I say, this truth ain't about being like. This truth ain't about having the most bitches you can get. You know, this truth is about enduring to the end, especially when the uh when the uh when the hour of temptation arises. When 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 uh when the Israelites are gonna have to prove their faith to you, how about Shemel Shai? By resisting the world and resisting the mark of the beast, man. Let's get this. One second. Okay, this is John. One moment. Con, this is John chapter 15, verse 8. This is one of my favorite scriptures, man. This is John chapter 15. I meant to say verses 18. No, let's let's see the verse 16. John 15, 16. It said, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, and that whatsoever ye shall ask of my Father in my name, ye may give it to you, right? So the Most High called us and ordained us to be prophets, to be men of the Lord. 
And what comes with that job comes with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which a lot of people uh, hate, a lot of people reject, a lot of people don't understand. We understand that if there's something that these people don't understand, they tend to hate it. They tend to talk down upon it. They tend to outcast it, man. So, you know, that's that's why a lot of the reasons, you know, chicks, you know, chicks you may like, you know, the you know, it, it may not go anywhere because she know that you got a different spirit on you. Or coworkers at your job, they may treat you a certain way, even though you have done nothing wrong to them, because you have a certain spirit on you, man. You see, the same way this world has a, a anti-anointed spirit, we had a spirit of, of the anointed on us. And you know the world the world hates the world hates Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The world hates righteousness. And it and it hates men who actually promote promote those things. So it say you have not chosen me, but I have not chosen you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask in my father's name, he may give it to you. These things I command you that ye love one another. You see? Love one another because the brotherhood is is the only place we can get true acceptance, man. You know, a woman gonna act like she accept you just 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 so you, just so you just so you can lay that pipe down on her, but it ain't true sincere. You know, your family may say they accept you, but that's only because they they fucking know your ass your whole life, man. They not gonna accept you in, in righteousness, cause as soon as you tell as soon as you tell your mama you about to have you have, you about to have uh, two wives, she gonna say you going off, man. <laughs> as soon as you tell your grandma the, the real image of Jesus, she's gonna say you going off, man. That's why we gotta hey stick stick close to the brothers, man. Be there for brothers. It say <clears throat> John chapter 15, verse 17. These things I command you that ye love one another. If the world hate me, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of this world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world. But I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you, man. And, and a guy like me, you know, I, I'm, I, I can say that I feel like I just I just been different my whole life before the truth. You know, I didn't really fit in with 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 a lot of shit going on, man. Now, you know, we have our Clark Kent modes. We able to do certain things. But us fitting in with this world is, is trying to put a square peg in a fucking round hole, man. You know, it's not gonna work. You know, we're gonna be able to, we're gonna be able to do certain things. We're gonna be able to achieve certain things. But at, at, at a certain point in time, it's, 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 it ain't going, man. It ain't going. And so that's why, brothers, we have to, uh, you know, remind ourselves and refresh ourselves that we not, we not on a, we not on a political campaign to get likes, to get people to like us, man. You know what I'm saying? To get all these, all these. Uh, you know, followers and whatnot, because hey, the times are evil. People, people know who you are on those highways and byways. We got a testimony of that yesterday too. Actually, you know, the fucking Edomite spot I was mentioning, the bartender up there. So I was like, yeah, I, I saw y'all. I saw you earlier, earlier today, out on the streets. So yeah, man, these people know us. These people know what what we about. So that's why you know it's important to keep a low pro, to keep a low profile. Now, but eventually you you. That ain't gonna be possible, nigga. You know you have them amber amber alerts on your phone. They might put a fucking amber alert out for your car. You know they put billboards out with your face on it. Put your face on the news. You know this this world is gonna become that evil to where we're gonna be public enemy number one, and brothers have to embrace for that. You know embrace for being public enemy number one. But all you know the same way you got a whole whole lot of uh people that are haters and whatnot. You got people that actually want to support. You know, because Shorty at the bar who recognized us, she wasn't scoffing. She didn't treat us like nothing. She was, you know, she was cool. You know, so yeah, there is there is people that's gonna hate the men of the Lord, but there's people that's also gonna love the men of the Lord and support the men of the Lord, man. But let's go back, John chapter fifteen, verse eighteen. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of this world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. 
If they have kept your sayings, they will keep yours also, right? And Yahweh Shai was a man that had many slanders on his name, even though he did he did nothing but he did nothing but good things for his people. He was slandered. Same thing with us, man. You know, and not just not just going out to the highways and byways only, but just personal things you may do for somebody. Don't 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 expect them to reciprocate that energy, man. Because a lot of people are very selfish. A lot of people will sell you out to save to save their own skin, man. So you know, outside of outside of the brothers, you know, when you by yourself, you know, you know, brothers, you know, brothers got families, but brothers with no families, hey, we pretty much by ourselves, man. You know, we going through this shit dolo. You, you know, you never alone because you got your how about your child with you, but you know, for the most part, man, we 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 just we just uh prepared. Prepare for the worst, man. Prepare for you people to to prepare for you people to turn against us. And and whatever love that people may show you now, you gotta understand that's fake love, man. It may not last forever. See what I'm saying? But it says John 15 20, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin, right? And that's that's why, you know, on a spiritual level, we get a lot of hatred because we, we represent that light that's shining on these people. And, and, and people actually hate light, man. Let's get that. We're going to switch gears. Going to John. <clears throat> kind. Of, this is John chapter. We a hey, John chapter three verse sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we know that that's going speaking of Israelites, man. Not everybody in the world. For God sent his son into the world to condemn the world, but he, but that, but that the world through him might be saved. You see, and that's, that's why, you know, for you, for you wicked niggas, we are a sign, we are a sign of your, of your condemnation, man. When you, when you see the prophets, that's a sign of your condemnation. That's why we get a lot of alt, man. Like I said, Jake, Jake hate righteousness, but it say, for God sent his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the holy begotten son of the son of the most high. It said, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Right. And we have that light on us, man. And, you know, you don't need to trim down your light or turn down your light for nobody, man. You're supposed to let it shine. You're supposed to, you know, be, as we say, they can't be the perfect example for you. How about Shemel Shah in this world, man? Now, obviously, you know, you won't be a Clark Kent. You ain't, you ain't going to have to, you know, break down the scriptures to, to every to every bitch you meet. But, you know, your conduct and the way you and where you uh, where you hold yourself should should be that separation, man. It should be an indicator that this man has light in a dark world man so we say john chapter 3 john chapter 3 verse 19 and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for everyone that doeth evil hated the light neither cometh to the light lest his deeds be reproved but he that doeth truth cometh to light that his deeds may be manifest that they are wrought in the most high man see so understand the thing the thing that we have a lot of people hate you know your spirit a lot of people's gonna hate it man so hey as i say be be comfortable with being uncomfortable man sometimes you gotta go sometimes you gotta you gotta go you, you gotta go to a fucking edomite spot just just so you can feel that hatred just so you can feel that division and remind you that hey this shit this shit could turn left for us you know but through all things you how about shimia shah is going to preserve us above above these slanders above the hatred man because we got because we got the love and the light inside of us man. but with that a hey, lord willing this is edifying all praises honor and glory
It goes to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakadash, double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders, a great millstone. Yahweh by Shemel Shai, Brakatham, Tolfalak, Shalom, Shalom.